So it's the first snow here at our house this winter. And as you can see, all the solar panels stay, you know, pretty clean. And I have never had to clean them off. Right now there's a little bit of frost on them, but that's about it. We're gonna go down and we're gonna check out the pole array because I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be covered in snow. When I checked the stats on it this morning, my house was making power and the pole array wasn't. So we're down here now. Yeah, and as you can see, all the solar panels are covered in a nice thick layer of snow. So that's preventing all of the light from getting into those. Right now the light's on them completely. So that's going to make for a pretty good experiment. We're going to take a cleaning tool and we're going to clean all the snow off it. And then we're going to go check the power before and after the solar panels were cleaned just so that we can see the difference between you know, how much light the, the snow blocks and how useless your panels are when they're covered in snow. This is one of the reasons why I put the panels on the side of my house and not on top of my roof. So stay tuned and uh, we'll be back in a minute. So as you can see, that didn't take very long to get the snow off, but I did have to come and clean it. And now that it's clean and the black surface of the solar panels is exposed, it's already starting to melt the snow. But until you get to the point where the sun can get through and actually see the panels, it won't melt the snow. The snow will probably sit there for most of the day and slowly come off the top and slowly come down on the bottom. But I think it would have a hard time getting all the way down and melting the whole thing off without a cleaning. So now that we have it cleaned, uh, we're going to go up to the house and we're going to check out to see how much more power it's producing than it was before we cleaned it off. When we look at the production of the two arrays right now, the pole array is making 2,500 watts and pumping in 47 amps of power, which is more than the house is making. The house is making 2,300 watts and it's coming in at 42 amps right now which is a lot of power that's more power than my generator puts out and so if we combine that together that's close to about just under 5,000 watts coming in at close to 80 amps so uh, that's a lot of power coming into the house right now as you can see from this we've got a pretty sharp curve happening here on the house and this is where it started in the morning at eight o'clock, we were making 28 watts, which is mostly ambient light. And then by, um, you know, around 8.30, maybe nine o'clock, we started making about 300 watts, 480 watts, 600 watts, close to 800 watts, 900 watts. And then it steeply curves up to one, you know, 1 1.6 kilowatts. And then uh, we're where we see right now, we're at, you know, 1.8. 2.3 kilowatts. Now if I go over here and I look at the pole array, which is what we cleaned off this morning, we should see a pretty sharp increase in the amount of power production before and after the point that we cleaned it. So <clears throat> if we look at that right there, by you know, by 8.15 in the morning, we should have been making power. 8.30 definitely should have been making power. By nine o'clock, uh, you know, power production should have started. And so if we go look at this, we can see that at, you know, 8.15 in the morning, nothing was happening. We had no wattage, no wattage. And then there's a little blip right there at nine o'clock. And then shortly after uh, we cleaned the panels right here, you can see us going from, you know, 80 watts to 170 watts and then we jump from 500 watts straight to 1.2 kilowatts so that's the point right there where we cleaned the panels and the curve started to come up really quickly it didn't take us very long to clean the panels but it made a huge difference we went from 
you know, maybe a couple hundred watts to jumping up over a thousand watts in minutes just by cleaning the panels off. And then it started to melt the rest of the ice. And so we get an even steeper increase in the amount of wattage coming in until we got the full panels in full sunlight. And here you see the final uh, array coming in, you know, two and a half kilowatts, upwards of 30 to 40 amps. <clears throat> so that's pretty interesting that the snow can cover the panels and really block the light out. Even though snow is somewhat translucent, it takes a long time for the snow to melt off the panels and for the panels to be fully exposed to the sunlight. And so that can make a pretty huge difference in the amount of power output. So right now the pole is making more power than the house. And that's fine with me. That's why we put up that pole is because the house doesn't make a whole lot of power. <clears throat> and we needed a little bit more uh, power coming in during the day in order to charge up after a long dark period. So let's go back and have a look at where we came from. So a couple of days ago we had a full charge back here on November 6th. And then we had a whole bunch of snow where we produced very little power. And then we got our nighttime period and then we got an even heavier snowstorm. At this point, the solar panels on the pole are covered in snow. So you can see they're making maybe 30, 40 watts total all day long while they're covered in snow versus over here, if we look at the house array, we get a different kind of story. We had our full charge back here on November 6th. And then if I look over here, on the house array because it's covered with the overhangs from the roof and those panels never got covered i'm continuously making 100 200 watts of power on the first day of the snowstorm and then on the second day of the snowstorm i'm also making three or four hundred watts all throughout the day and so we were able to actually produce about uh, three or four kilowatts on this stormy day even though it was really dark and there wasn't a lot of light. And most of that came from the solar panels on the house, which were perfectly clear, while the, the solar panels that were out on the pole were covered in snow and they were doing very little. So that about wraps up our wintertime solar panel cleaning discussion. As you can see, it's just about 9.30 now. Our house and the pole combined together has made almost four kilowatts of power. And if I look at my state of charge, we've gone from, geez, what were we before we went to bed last night? It was pretty, it was pretty low. We were down to 63% uh, before we started today. So that's pretty close to rock bottom. And now we're charged up, we're at 71%. I see no reason why we won't get to a full charge today. So this has been another episode of Solar Life. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for more episodes.